Okay, so this is how we add a connector product to Husqvarna Fleet Services. Uh, if you have a lot of product in the same area, we recommend that you use the QR code uh, that you can find. On, the, on this product, it's uh, where you place the battery. If you have one product close by you, you can also uh, turn on the product and uh, find it uh, on your phone using the Bluetooth connection. So you just uh, press add a product and then when the product shows up, you add it and uh, you will give it a name. Select your name, uh, press add machine. After you have added the machine, you need to activate the machine to get the correct time sync within the product. So, uh, and to be able to do that, you also need to be close to the machine and have the machine uh, powered on. So press start activation. You will see the light turn on, the blue Bluetooth symbol. When the activation is completed, you press complete activation. And now the product is ready to collect data and send it to Husqvarna Fleet Services. Uh, with the new uh, connector products, we have the possibility to update the firmware within the product using Husqvarna Fleet Services. Uh, you will find that in the app on firmware updates. Uh, here you will first see that we have uh, a firmware available for a product. That means that uh, the owner of the product will need to approve the firmware update first. So we do that by pressing uh, on the product and then you will see that uh, we need to press update to actually initiate the, the firmware update. So let's do that. Uh, now we have the product, uh, it's waiting to update. For each specific product, we will have a checklist of things that need to be fulfilled before the products can actually start updating the firmware. For this one, uh, first of all, we need to have a fully charged battery in the product. We can see that here. Uh, we, we also need to turn the product on. We are not allowed to engage the product, start the product or do anything with the product. Uh, now the product is uh, turned on and what we need to do now is to wait until the Husqvarna Fleet Services has initiated the, the firmware update, downloaded the firmware, installed the firmware. When the firmware update is completed on the product, you will find in the detail view of the product, you will see a new firmware and the date when the product was updated. And when you see that on the screen and uh, the product is no longer impending for new firmware, then you know that the product is finished the firmware update.